Welcome, I am Ruth Nasuji and you are watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Here we look at stories making headlines across the country. We kick start off today's bulletin from Masaka District. Now President Yoram Museveni yesterday blamed the police bosses in Masaka for failing to stamp out the panga welding thugs who are wreaking mayhem and spreading fear among residents. Museveni was on the fact-finding mission yesterday, visited the families which lost their loved ones during the New Year attack in Bukoman Simbi district. During the attack, four people, including a retired senior police officer, Dennis Sebugwao Plus, Gonzaga Kayemba, John Bosco Seremba, a student of Chibinji High School, and Jen Nantale were killed and eight others injured. The attack was not the first in the Great Massacre region. Moving on to Amoria, Kapel Bionk Health Center 4 is struggling to operate without an incinerator. Authorities at the health facility said they banned the waste in an open area near the unit, while the rest is transported to Amoria Health Center 4, which has an incinerator. The distance between the two health centers is 45 kilometers. Kapel Bionk Health Center 4 serves a population of 3,616 people, according to the Uganda the Bureau of Statistics report. According to the government policy, every health center for up to the hospital level is expected to have an incinerator. Those facilities also faced with the challenge of inadequate doctors and accommodation of staff, something which promotes staff absenteeism. It also lacks a children's ward and a mobile for network. Dr. Joseph Etonu, the officer in charge of Kapilbong Health Center 4, said they are currently admitting children and adults in the same wards. Now moving on to Mbale, district police has dismissed claims that the late Isa Wampogo, whose body was found floating on River Rela on the border between Kachumbala sub-county in Bukedia district and Nakaloke town council in Mbale district was murdered. The Mbale district police commander Stephen Ahura said the postmortem carried out by Dr. Dominique Wambloko indicated that Wampogo committed suicide. Ahura attributed the suicide to mental disability which he said could have resulted from a disagreement between family members he said recently Wampogo tried to ask for land from his relatives but he was not given his share now finally from Iganga district, the LC5 chairman Patrick Kayemba said setting up side income such as businesses will help health personnel realize their long-term dreams. He was speaking as a chief guest during an end-of-year party organized for Iganga Hospital Health Personnel at Sikizi Hotel in Iganga on Wednesday. Kayemba said with the current inflation in the country, health workers will continue complaining about less pay even if government increases their salaries during the next financial year. He appealed to health workers to be hard working if they want to be promoted at work. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug. I am Rathi Nasajay.